Hey y'all, it's me coming on again. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, if you guys did notice, I've been off for about a week, week and a half. Uh, I don't know if you guys were going through this, but I was going through one hell of a purge slash storm slash... <clears throat> I don't even know how to explain it. I The best I could explain it was, at first they thought it was food poisoning, then I realized it was not food poisoning. And then I was just going through a bunch of waves of negative thought forms and emotional crashing. And I would, I would call like a phantom food poisoning. Uh, but suffice it to say, it was the hardest purge I've had to go through so far. Uh, but I'm back. I'm still okay. There were points that I was in the fetal position praying to go home. So it got pretty bad. I was shaking at points without a fever. Uh, but I'm here. I'm golden. Thank you. Um, I did end up getting some more subscribers and I just want to say thanks a lot to those of you that do chime in. Uh, today's topic, I'm going to be talking about something that all of us are probably on, but I feel like when I was down and out, it was uh, something that <clears throat> I may not have talked about. And it's just to make sure that we are all on the same page. Sometimes the adversity that you think you're facing is really just because you're ascending. And some of us are at the beginning stages of this, the middle stages, and or the end stages. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. There is one other side note I did want to point out is that um, for those of you that have watched me and my channelings, I've noticed in the last uh, weeks or so that more of the channelings are coming to pass. First, it started with Chile a couple, well actually the first one that ever popped off was Japan. Secondly, the one with Chile, um, with the forest fires and or the beam that started those fires popped off. And that was during my last um, channeling with God and Sandalfin. And now with the same channeling, I saw that there was an eruption in the Galapagos Islands, which was another point that uh, Father God had made within my channeling. So I feel like... There are certain shifts taking place. I'm going to start doing more channelings, maybe every day or every other day, because I feel like this is something. And again, I can either uh, channel Father, Mother, God, or I can start to channel angels. It's just going to depend who wants to come through with a message. But I am going to start that up sooner than later, because as you guys know, I've let go of every single one of my position uh, jobs, and I'm just fully dedicated to the cause. So I'm going to be doing that a lot more. But back to the topic, the topic of is this adversity or am I just ascending? So there are a couple of things that you have to look out for if you are ascending or if you think you're ascending or if you've already been on the ascension journey, then maybe this won't apply to you. But hey, listen in anyways. And if you do like what I'm saying, please help me out. Just like what I'm saying. Or you could add me or you could do whatever helps. It's free and it'll get my channel going forward. I am the slowest moving channel, but... I don't care. I'm going to keep coming. I'll even go until there's only one person left. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not here just for you guys. I'm here for God, too. So, with that said, um, the first thing you're going to notice if you're ascending is you're going to lose a lot of relationships. Lots of relationships. Like, it could be family, friends. It could be your coworkers. It could be neighbors. It could be anyone. The reason why that is usually the first starting place for anyone on their ascension journey is simply because you guys do not see eye to eye anymore. You've opened up. You've cracked that brain open. You've cracked that soul open. Things are changing. So the thing is, is that for those people that are not changing, you're going to see like basically a giraffe in a zebra farm. So please know that that is one of the main things. And it's not to say that there's anything wrong with you or anything wrong with them. You're just not on the same page. The energy upgrade that you received while going through your ascension, either at the beginning, middle, or uh, hopefully the end. I hope there's an end to this. But the point is, is that as you go further along in the journey, your energy upgrade is going to continue going higher and higher and higher. And then more and more people are going to disappear. So it's not, or you might notice that there's new people that are coming into your world. But that happens a little later. Usually at the beginning stages, you're just getting rid and shedding a lot of people because of that energy upgrade that you just faced. And because you're not seeing eye to eye with a lot of people, 
you'll notice that for some reason a lot of them become haters and you can't really understand why they're haters they weren't always your haters but the thing is is that once you started standing up for yourself and had a little bit of a backbone that turns a lot of heads and a lot of people like to keep people under their thumb because it makes them feel more powerful so now that you've come on to this ascension journey you're going to tap into your inner power. And as you do that, you're going to notice that you're going to upset a lot of people. People you wouldn't even think you were going to piss off, you're pissing off now. And usually how that even happens too is, like I said, it could even be co-workers. And you'll notice even as someone who's ascending, you probably can't keep your job. Like for myself, I used to be a law clerk. I used to work at a big firm. I used to make a big fat paycheck. And then I ended up reducing my hours. I started freelancing when I first came on my ascension, still thinking I could keep a job. But then at the end of the day, when God's mission is there for you, you notice that you kind of can't conform to the nine to five anymore. And that's totally normal. You just don't feel challenged anymore. You feel really at odds with your job. Like you can't even sit there. You're just too anxious to even sit there. You feel like you could be doing so much more. So when you're sitting at that desk, you're like literally biting your nails off because you're like, I can't be here more than usual, more than, you know, just a little bit. You really just can't be there anymore. And that's totally normal. You won't be able to keep focus because that job is not important. Whatever mission you have as a star seed or a 144 chosen or an empath, it's just not going to jive with a 9 to 5. It's just not going to happen. And most likely you're going to get rid of that job because you're noticing that all these bubbling passions are coming up inside of you, either to preach or to create or to do something fantastic. And that does not involve the 9 to 5. Unless you were somebody who was already kicking it with your passion, then maybe you could keep your job because you were already on God's path and or that beaten path that you wanted to be on so if that's the case kudos to you but for the rest of us we're most likely giving up those jobs and pursuing something totally different so don't be scared of that that's part of the journey after your night of the soul hits you'll notice that um a lot of things start to fall away and usually a job is one of them now some of us even end up having a change of address sometimes god calls you and tells you that you gotta move and me personally, I'm actually going through this right now because when I first had my first uh, point in this journey, I needed to stay stabilized and maybe you do too at the beginning or in the middle or hopefully somewhere in the end. But some of us can't keep those addresses simply because like for myself and what I'm finding is that even if I do find people that say they're spiritual or on the journey, they're really not. And you can usually determine that very easily because they're basically sacrificing spirituality for money. If you see people basically pimping themselves for money and claiming that they're spiritual, and I mean, it's not that you can't make use or get paid for what you do, that's totally it, but it's like as if you should know the difference of someone who's solely in or wearing a hat or in a trend just because it's popular just because it's something that can be um you can use people in some degree because you're pulling on their spiritual heartstrings if you notice that you're with those people a lot which i'm noticing i'm around a lot i'm in dire need of finding my own family and my own tribe so that's why i feel like at this current point in my life, I need to make that move sooner than later. So you might notice that if you are on this ascension journey, you aren't just hitting adversity. You really do just want to change addresses. You really need to find where that beckoning is heading. Or you, Some of us don't even know where it's heading. Some of us just know we want to get in a car and go. And wherever we land is wherever we're supposed to be. Because that's the great thing about God's plan. Is that God will never lead you astray. You'll always be on mark and you'll always be on course. So if you're really feeling like you need to get up and go, you know, make those plans. Not even the biggest plans. Just like get your money together, you know, get your ideas of what you want to achieve right. And I'm telling you, the path will lay out itself for you. And lastly, the one thing I can say about this time is what I just went through with this emotional storm that just passed me. And I'm pretty sure it was a, a hell of a purge. You're going to go through purges like nobody's business. But the physical symptoms can sometimes be the worst 
out of all of this ascension journey because for me at least I shake like crazy and what that shaking feels like is like I guess sometimes kind of like the chills like when you're sick or have a flu but really it's a raising it's like you feel like your body is like either like velcro that's just coming apart it could feel like that or it could feel like your skin's getting ripped off of you or it could feel like your skin's raising for me, it, it quakes. I quake on the inside and I shake like crazy. And really all that is is an upgrade. You're calibrating your body. Your, your, your material body is calibrating all these light codes. And that's why you're actually getting that sensation. Because your body or your material body and your energetic body are trying to evolve enough that you can expand larger and larger. Your energy body can become larger and larger. And your material body can hold on or encompass it to a degree they work in tandem so unfortunately you may notice that you're quaking and shaking a lot at night and that's totally normal another thing you might notice like I've noticed is that sometimes you just get hit with waves and crashes of negative thought forms or for example what I go through sometimes is just like rage it's like days of just like feeling enraged and you don't know why or days of feeling like remorse and um grief stricken and you're like where is it coming from what is going on really it's just low level energy and the thing is is that why it's so intense I would want to see it's a test but I really don't think that's what it is I feel like because when you are trying to find that middle path between the the masculine and the feminine it's like as those energies are merging together and you're trying to stay within that equilibrium you'll notice that there are certain things that you didn't process properly and on those times of the what can I say in those times when you're actually doing those uh, low level energy purge storms like I don't know how else to explain them you'll notice that there's so much low level energy and you just have to purge it get through it and it's better to go through the motions go through the emotions instead of repelling them because the thing is is that if you repel them they don't repair always keep that in mind if you repel you're not repairing so if you want to repair them you got to go through them you got to feel them you got to like for example me I was I was just like rah for days and I couldn't even explain why and it wasn't like oh it was lady time that's not what I'm saying I'm saying like I'm usually a pretty good luck go lucky person and I was lethargic like crazy that is another symptom that you might be facing as well is that you'll notice that you're constantly lethargic when you go through these purging storms or when you're going through uh, nights of the uh, dark nights of the soul this may happen multiple times on your journey and what a dark night of the soul is is when Every part of your foundation gets crashed down to the bottom, like Lego pieces all destroyed on the ground, and then you got to pick them back up and start over. Usually the first uh, night of the, um, dark night of the soul is the worst. And then as you go through this journey, they'll happen more and more, but you kind of aren't as upset about them because you're like, oh yeah, this wasn't working. Let's start again. And you're, you're more inclined to start that video game again because you're like oh I know how to navigate this better this time I'll get through a lot faster so you're not as upset with the other dark nights of the soul but when you are going through these physical symptoms it's always good to stay hydrated drink your water try to go to bed and the last thing I'm going to say is expel your energy if you're the opposite of the lethargic like let's say you're going through those negative thought form waves that I was talking about where you're always getting hit with low level energy the best thing you can do is hit up the gym the best thing you can do is start dancing put on your favorite music the best thing you can do is maybe sing do something high energy because the thing is is that if you just stay in your anxious state and then you have all of these waves of emotions hitting you you're probably going to bottom out and like I said end up in the fetal position <laughs> crying to go home so if you are somebody who is going through this if you do feel like you're on an ascension journey you could be at the beginning you could be at the middle you could be hopefully getting to the end and I feel like we're in the last stretches because even some of those pains I was getting while I was during my phantom sickness I can't even describe what I went through I noticed that I even had this pain in my side that reminded me of when I was younger running a marathon literally when I was a kid 
And when I was getting to the last stretch of time where I was almost 20 minutes away of running to the finish line, I got this stabbing pain in my ribs and I was like, oh my gosh, I just got to run through it. And I feel like that's where we're at because I feel like, especially when those storms of low energy, uh, low level energy come at us, in a sense, they want to keep us down because in a way it's like the low level energies are getting a chance to be like, I know you want to tap out. How about you tap out now? How about now? How about you give up now? So the just keep that in mind. It's it's only a point in time. It's only going to be there for the moment or for a day or two or for a week or two. And then it'll subside and you'll go back to normal just like I am right now. I'm back to my normal energy waves. I didn't do anything different. I didn't get truly sick because I had no fever. Sure, I felt like I wanted to throw up all the time, but I, I wasn't throwing up. Sure, everything was dispelling out of my body, but I could still eat. It was just something I was going through. And I know for those of you on the Ascension journey, you're going through things too. So if you do like what I'm saying, please like, please share, please subscribe. I've probably said this a bunch of times, but I'm really, really adamant about getting out of this low subscriber amount. I really want to get out there. I really want to share a word. So I hope you have a great night and look forward to the next one.